Something's really bad on him. If he thinks I'm gonna abandon him, he's wrong. until I get answers. Two days, and I'll know who she was, and why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right, time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. Mother's heart. Two more days, and I'll know what it's like in there. It's so many people crammed into one place. I guess no one ever gets lonely in there. the law to speak to outcasts. God has given me strength. Thank you. 
I need this. You want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? You know the Matriarchs might cast you out for speaking to me, don't you? I don't care. I tried looking for her myself and my leg gave out. Just find her. I'll accept any punishment if it means she's safe. I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. Arana's still in danger. What else do you need? Why would your daughter hunt a scrapper on her own? It's my fault. I went after it first and it tore up my leg. I barely got away and I left a spear impaled in the machine. That spear was made by Adina, my mate, who died last year. It means everything to Arana. I'll be on my way.
new plan. around startling people. Time to see Karst and get a trip caster. No one else around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting. There he is. Looks nervous. Outcast on my doorstep, all mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another.
Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made a brave, you'll deal with traitors in Mother's heart. Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. Are you worried I'm going to tell someone that you trade with outcasts? I don't think you're the kind who talks, but you never know. You can stop worrying. The secret's safe with me. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I don't mind hearing it. The only person I've ever told about our trades is Rost. Yeah, well, not like he can turn me in, even if he wanted to. Law and duty sort of a man, that Rost. I don't know how you stand it. You really don't know why he was cast out? I've told you no. I don't think anyone knows what he did, but it must have been serious because his term is for life. Last time I visited, you had a tripcaster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. You've got yourself a trip caster. Practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Will you be around later in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. I guess that concludes our business. All right. Good luck in the proving. Blessing of all mother and all that. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate.
explosions and shouts from outside the embrace. I wonder what's going on. Aloy. You have the firearms. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. <sighs> yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine. That's what. Go watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Won't be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They did. The kills we passed are theirs. And tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful.
Tooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Hunting me. It saw me. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Thank <laughs> you. 
Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving, and after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will.
So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're going to let me in? I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Take this. To remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. Proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. 
or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Uh... Isn't it? It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. 
your sis said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Your, your gorgeous no. I heard you asked for a mate yesterday, but now that it's your Climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Nah, this just doesn't come Get to down from there, now! Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! What I want is for you to climb down! What you want is for me to have no fun at all! Listen carefully now, for you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all nice. this came from All Mother. I'm with High Major Glancy. We should let the all Hard children loot our sacred. They lived people. alongside each other in the comfort of the wild wilderness. Hey, over here. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace is peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Arms. and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance Hold Luminance. your fruit, Nora, uh, uh, Nora Faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azuram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the cart. But the 13th king is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th kid. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Everyone's acting like these cursed Karja are honored guests. I know it's real sick. He's wearing a focus, just like mine. You're supposed to forget what the Karja did to Where did he find a focus? You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. 
What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. We might even give the Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff when he's not scrounged. I... I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Don't you have a blessing to attend? Let's talk later. doing here careful pretend like we've never met I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds remember how could I forget and how generous of you to talk to me now don't be like that you know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow and wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win and if you need any last-minute supplies uh, I'm your man all right let's do this
take your shards. Listen carefully now, or you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all... Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light it's flame. Frost, and all he did to help me get here. All oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. What is it? Bother someone else. Your blessing was... Most illuminating, but you perhaps one of my. Who are you, Sun Priest? I am the Reverend you read. The glory of the Karja is the sun's glory reflected. You just said a lot, but you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> my apologies. My duty is to carry out the will of the sun by serving its emissary among us, the Sun King. I comfort those who walk by the light of day. This has been illuminating, but I should get going. You have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path. You never know. Outcast might surprise us. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep, 
Steel giants half buried in loose soil, forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape, then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. When we spoke earlier, you went... It didn't... I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You were, you were very present here. <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild, the motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? You didn't know the word. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. I've trained all my life for the proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Boss. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. 
Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Comforts and distractions. That's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. Ready yourselves! What will it take to get you out of here? Razor! Shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. The boss will win, Hervala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! 
My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! An outcast? Win the proving? Never! For she is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave. Who is first among you? Ah! Kill them all! No witnesses, no survivors!
They're too strong! We can't stop them! Descend while we have a chance. it all, then to your task. As you command. Thank <laughs> you. 
She is dying. <gasps> to take her there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. must have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? I need to find my focus. <sighs> my clothes. Good. But where's my focus? Jerks are allowed inside. I, I don't see my bow here. Or the damaged focus, the one I took off that killer. Where are they? I should keep looking. Picking up some kind of signal. There, with the rest of my things. Just because I look like you. 
Aloy, you are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. like me, but with short hair. I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What... What are you talking about? Come. Is this place the great chamber where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to you Aloy the proving massacre was just the first of many disasters the war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered but what does that have to do with where I was born my hope is everything this is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. Your mother? <gasps> oh! Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. Aloy, all mother spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I 
I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the one goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was... Done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. So I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to forbidden places, 
like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight or the ruins of the metal world I see why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted is it not obvious I'll let beyond her that is why I should be on my way from here you must go to the gates of the embrace speak to Varl and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the throne. I have nowhere to be for the rest of the day. The outcast girl. So she survived her wounds. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. away the scent for now. The outcast approaches. Aloy! Ignore her. Aloy! Continue the report. There are rumors of a demon loose in the embrace. A, a thing of dark metal that corrupts every machine it touches. Aloy! Where did it come from? Aloy! They say it broke through the gates of the embrace. Who is they? Farley's Aloy! Farley's, they tried to stop it, but... I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. <sighs> I'm glad to see you're okay. And you're even wearing... What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so... I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. I should be on my way. Be safe, Aloy. Can't be too prepared. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. 
What was that? What's it doing to them? Taking control. Brace yourselves! a machine like that take control of all those striders? How'd you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. How? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy, how did you do that? You killed that demon, pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines, I think I figured it out.
But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Rest says. <laughs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Braves! I want that gate repaired immediately! I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done! I need to test this device, see what it can do. Do you need help? You're the one who survived the proving. Yes, I do need help. Ten years ago, my brother was cast out. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? I'm fast. If that is how it... Be Arana. Sounds like she's in trouble. For saving me from those machines. Thank you. I thought those what your fault. I think you will go find your own. Oh, no. 